For context, a lot of fans want Link to speak in future Zelda games, but a lot of others want him to stay a silent protagonist. Um, this is, that's been a big debate in the Zelda community for a lot of a lot of time now. Um, Onuma spoke up about the issue, though, and he seems about as divided as the fan base. Actually, uh, he says that in some ways he thinks it would be good, but in others he fears that Link could lose his individuality. Uh, so, I personally want him to stay silent, but I think that for that to work, they really need to cool it with all the cutscenes and stuff. Um, I think Zelda's gotten way too story-driven for what the series was originally supposed to be, and hate me all you want, but I don't think that the Zelda team is much good at that. Um, so, but, but one of the worst parts about all that is that Link, who was originally created to be a blank slate avatar character connecting the player to the world, he now kind of has a character, but also kind of doesn't? And it's like really weird to see that awkward gray area in a story-driven game, especially when all these other characters have all this dialogue, and then Link's just standing there grunting when he clearly has something that he wants to say. Um, so we all know that Zelda U is going back to the series roots for exploration and all that, and I think that they should do the same for the story direction and for Link's character direction. Um, but that said, if they want to emphasize the story, then they've got to let him speak. You just can't keep doing both. Yeah, and to kind of follow on from that, I think the issue of whether Link should speak is kind of a cart before the horse kind of issue, because if Link being non-mute is really going to matter and really going to make waves, I don't think it'll simply be because he has lines. I think it'll be because he has a voice actor with a speaking part. And the Zelda franchise still hasn't really decided whether they want to do voiced dialogue, so I think we're pretty far from having a real serious conversation about whether Link should or shouldn't stay mute, because for the foreseeable future, they, the Zelda series hasn't really decided what to do with dialogue in general. Um, that said, I think it's telling that many of the most popular fantasy games like Elder Scrolls and Dark Souls and all those uh, do feature mute protagonists, and they do mm -hmm. feature them alongside fully voiced NPCs. So I don't think you know Link speaking is necessarily one of those foregone conclusions that will happen eventually, uh, even if they do do something like voice acting. Um, but I think that if if Link is going to speak, it's going to be after they have make a decision about voice acting. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, I'm that. thinking along the same lines as you, Alex. I, I don't want to see... Uh, well, I mean, for you, it, it's maybe not so much that you don't want to see Link speak, just that you don't think that's the conversation to have yet. But I agree that uh, NPCs could be voice act, could be used voice acting in the in the Zelda series very effectively, much in similar ways to some of the games you mentioned. I but I agree with uh, Onuma in saying that sort of Link as a silent protagonist is just it's part of his character now. It would kind of change up his identity a little too much. Maybe I'm being a little old fashioned there, but I, I think Zelda could be more immersive with voice acted characters i just don't think that link needs to be one of them to have a compelling experience yeah yeah, yeah and i'm with totally you there. there i'm with you there hello everybody thank you for listening to this nintendo week clip nwc if you like what you hear please subscribe to us here on youtube for more highlights and discussion videos from nintendo week podcast or subscribe to us on itunes for weekly breakdowns of all your nintendo news discussion segments on subjects games and more and tons of other features. Thanks for listening, and we will see you tomorrow with another NWC.